Hello and welcome again to uh, the uh, broadcast of AC Press under the auspices of the Spanish Evangelical Alliance. My name is Jonathan Dawson. Well, hitherto we've called this uh, weekly broadcast Spain Today, but we're changing the name to Letter from England, uh, partly to reflect uh, where the uh, news uh, broadcast is actually made now, but also because we want to give uh, a different perspective uh, to the news in or from Spain. How is the news uh, in the Spanish world viewed from outside? Uh, and how do, uh, does international, or how does rather the Spanish news affect uh, things internationally? This Saturday, November the 5th, is the 400th anniversary of the plot to blow up the British Parliament, along with King James I and most of the nobility. The main uh, protagonist of this uh, plot is usually thought to be a man called Guy Fawkes. Uh, he was the poor chap left with the match and found in a cellar under Westminster Palace uh, and arrested in 1605. He was born in 1570 uh, in Yorkshire in the north of England uh, and was uh, apparently uh, uh, an ordinary fellow, uh, brought up uh, as an Englishman of his time. And yet he came under the influence of uh, some what were called recusant Catholics. Uh, Catholicism, of course, at that time was uh, frowned upon in England, and there was a, a fear uh, that uh, people would wish to ally themselves with foreign Catholic forces, uh, particularly in Spain, uh, to uh, impose that religion once more upon England. Fawkes is uh, believed to have left England in 1593 or 1594, in his early 20s, for Flanders, together with one of his cousins who later became a Catholic priest. In Flanders, he enlisted in the Spanish army under the Archduke Albert of Austria, who was later governor of the Netherlands. Uh, Fawkes held a post of command when the Spaniards took Calais in 1596 under the orders of King Philip II of Spain. He severed his connection, however, with these forces uh, in 1603, and he was allowed to go to Spain uh, to, and I quote, enlighten King Philip II concerning the true position of Romanists in England. Well, it was on this visit that he met Christopher Wright, and the two men tried to obtain Spanish support for an invasion of England uh, when Queen Elizabeth I died, uh, a mission which ultimately proved fruitless. Uh, Queen Elizabeth uh, died in 1603 and uh, was uh, succeeded by King James, King James VI of Scotland, who united the thrones um, of England and Scotland and cemented, of course, uh, the uh, superiority uh, of uh, Protestantism uh, in Britain. Well, Fawkes uh, began to meet uh, other uh, would-be conspirators, and in May 1604, uh, he had a meeting with Robert Catesby, John Wright, Thomas Winter, and Thomas Percy at an inn called the Duck and Drake uh, in London, and agreed to join them in what became known as the Gunpowder Conspiracy. Uh, this oath uh, was uh, sanctified, if that's the right word, uh, by the celebration of Mass and the administering of the sacraments by a Jesuit priest. Uh, Fawkes uh, assumed a false identity. He took the name of John Johnson, pretending to be uh, one of Percy's servants. And in March of that year, the conspirators hired a cellar uh, in Westminster Palace underneath the Parliament. They filled it with barrels of uh, gunpowder uh, hidden underneath iron bars and faggots of wood. Uh, he was then uh, sent again to Flanders, um, presumably to communicate the details of the plot to other conspirators. But later that uh, year he was back uh, in London uh, replacing any barrels which had been spoiled uh, and uh, preparing things for the great day. On October the 26th, however, a letter was delivered uh, to William Parker, the fourth Baron Monteagle, and concern uh, spread amongst the conspirators uh, because the plot uh, seemed to have becoming known. This was because uh, some of them wanted to avoid blowing up Catholic peers uh, along with non-Catholic ones. However, Fawkes doesn't seem to have uh, been aware of the letter's existence, and on Wednesday, October the 30th, once again, he inspected the cellar, and satisfied himself that the gunpowder uh, had not been disturbed. Uh, on Sunday, November the 3rd, a few of the leading conspirators met once again in London, 
and agreed that the authorities were still unaware of what was going on. All of them, however, except Fawkes, made plans for a speedy getaway from London uh, after uh, the, uh, the uh, plot was uh, brought to a conclusion, after the explosion, as they hoped. Uh, Fawkes agreed to uh, watch the cellar by himself, having already been given the task of actually setting light to the gunpowder, um, undoubtedly because of his experience uh, with the Spanish army in the Low Countries where um, he'd worked with munitions. And his orders were to uh, flee to Flanders as soon as the uh, uh, powder was fired and to spread the news of the explosion on the continent. But on the Monday, uh, Montego, uh, accompanied by the Lord Chamberlain uh, and another man, inspected Parliament buildings, suspicious that something was afoot. Uh, they found forks and a large pile uh, of uh, iron bars and uh, faggots of wood. They asked who the pile belonged to, and Fawkes replied that it was Thomas Percy's, for whom he worked. They reported these details to the king, and uh, suspecting that Fawkes was more than he seemed, uh, again searched the cellar a little before midnight the following night, uh, this time uh, led by uh, Sir Thomas Nivett, a Westminster magistrate. Now, Fawkes had gone out, but he returned to his post before nightfall, and this time was arrested. Uh, they discovered on him a watch, slow matches, and touchwood. And early in the morning of the 5th of November, 1605, Fawkes was brought in uh, to the king's bedchamber under guard. Uh, when questioned by the king how he could uh, contemplate such hideous treason, Fawkes replied that a dangerous disease required a desperate remedy, and that his intentions were to blow the Scotsman present back into Scotland. Well, the person blown anywhere was, of course, Guy Fawkes himself. Uh, a full confession uh, was tortured from him in the following days, uh, and he implicated his fellow conspirators. Uh, and on Friday, uh, January the 31st, in 1606, Fawkes, along with Winter and two other conspirators, were taken to the old palace yard at Westminster and hanged, drawn and quartered, quote, in the very place which they had planned to demolish in order to hammer home the message of their wickedness. And so, 400 years on, all across Britain uh, this weekend, there will be bonfires uh, and fireworks uh, to celebrate the discovery of the plot, how Protestantism was uh, secured, uh, how uh, the advance um, of the Gospel was not uh, curtailed either by the return of Catholicism to Britain, uh, and also uh, how democracy, uh, even in its... Um, fledgling state in 1605 was saved well I hope that's proved uh, of some interest particularly because Guy Fawkes uh, took a Spanish uh, nickname he changed his uh, name from Guy to Guido uh, presumably in his time with the, the Spanish army uh, was unable to enlist the support of the Spanish authorities uh, for uh, an invasion of England and himself died in his efforts to try and reinstate Catholicism as the official religion in Britain. Thank you again for listening uh, to Letter from England and find us each week on emission.net or on the AC Press website, ProcedentDigital.com.